Hello, Steve Grubbs. Welcome back once again here. Post game show as the Cougar team singing the fight song after a 73 to 46 victory over Arizona State. Congratulations, Coach. Always great to hear the fight song, especially with such a strong contingent of Cougar fans that have made their way out to the desert. We always seem to draw well here, and they, they came out again to support us. Well, I'm just glad we showed up for them. It just feels like we've been uh, on. On games where maybe we don't match up as good as Stanford, and Stanford might just be better than us, we play like this. And then on and we leave, we don't play with the energy that's required against teams that you possibly can beat. So it's a frustration with this team. But I think when you lose a player like Charlize, who really just never hardly let came flat or never let people get flat or would get us back into it, you know, it's new roles for players and they're having to step up and be better and really proud of Tara and how much better she played tonight and how much she led. AT clearly played a good game and that helped us, you know, really just across the board. I thought that we had a great defensive li- lineup in late with B, basically our starters and just kept stretching that lead out. It was it was a great performance for us. Now, Tara Wallach, a career high 23 points for her tonight and, and I thought really from the opening when she drove it into the lane and, and was able to get some points for you, really from the opening where she scored her first five points was kind of taking that leadership role on this team and, and really came to play for, for every minute that she was out on the court. As she ended up with, as we said, 23 points, but just that leadership role was I think, as tangible as the 23 points were today. Yeah, yeah. I just, um, again, it's a lot to ask. It's never been her role to have to score like this. And, and I get it. You know, you're tired sometimes. It just It's just learning how to compete at this level. And you think you're ready and you're not, but she really got herself ready. I'm proud of our team and how they responded. I just have to be so mean to them to get them to, like, focus and, and get locked in. I thought the, the scout and how we guarded them was phenomenal. Uh, just took that over in the second half in particular. But, yeah, be, uh, uh, Tara was fantastic. Her scoring, her making threes. You know, she makes people pay, but her hunting her shot in the paint a little bit really helped us. Really great game from her. And then L.A. continuing to do the things that she's able to do, but she needs help. She can't carry the team and be the only one to score, so to have Tara do it. And then if you can get some other pieces around her, Beyonce B, a double-double for you tonight. Bella, not great on the offensive end, but I thought she was pretty good defensively for you and, and was able to get some boards as well for you. So if your front line can... If they're not getting the offense, at least contribute in the other ways, and I thought they were both able to do that. Beyonce, again, with the double-double, and Bella, despite not much in scoring, I thought was pretty good defensively for them. Really good. I, I mean, obviously, just the way they could go with a lot of people that could shoot the ball. We really needed a little – someone, maybe not a freshman, or someone that – the mobility that we have in Bella really helped us, and her rebounding was huge. Again, got to find a way to be effective for your team, and – I, obviously, everybody knows scoring. We need scoring. We got it from B tonight. We got it from different people tonight. Uh, we still need it from Bella, but proud of how she responded when maybe the ball wasn't going in the basket or she wasn't getting the shots she wanted. You know, her response was fantastic. Mention that again, this game, without Charlize, we hadn't won. That's a mental block, and now we've cleared that mental block. Now, again, the key now is to carry it forward. Do you think that this could be something that can – can be something for this team of, hey, okay, now we can lean back on that because, again, we've got two huge home games coming up this next weekend. Well, again, I don't think what you do today matters. I think what you do on Friday matters, and that's the next game. And and so maybe it's a hurdle, but if it's a hurdle, that's just a, you know, a mental weakness, quite frankly. Uh, you know, we hadn't played well enough. We haven't competed well enough. We've we, we haven't demanded as much as we needed to out of ourselves at times. So, again, yeah, I think everybody's happy that we can get a win. We need to get a couple more. It's a big weekend. Obviously, we have a top five or ten team coming into our, into our arena. You have Oregon, who's always been so good, and, you know, a chance to you, just any kind of wins this weekend would be amazing. It's a fan appreciation night, so we want a big crowd. It's senior night, like the seniors on this team, we want to send them off with just such, you know, a huge win, number one, and then obviously just great fan support. So, uh, but for us, we're, we're playing for our lives. We're playing for postseason. We're trying to get out of this hole a little bit that we dug and, and still get back into 
you know, contention for the NCAA. And, and so that, that requires some more wins. And I like our team if we show up like this. I, I hate us when we don't bring the passion and the energy. But, again, let's, let's be happy about this. Let's let's dwell on that. Let's let's. I'm going to go in there and t- tell them. You know, this is kind. Of, this is how we have to perform to to give ourselves a chance. Cougars now score for Arizona State 47 to 25 in the second half. Congratulations, coach. We'll see you tomorrow at Zeppos, and this will make for a better flight back home. Yeah, Tara's coming tomorrow. Let's get a good crowd out to to see her and and uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, here we go, getting home from from this place. Thank you. Go Cougs. Head coach of the Cougs, Cammie Etheridge. Want to thank her so much. Why not? I mean, a career high. That sounds like a great guest. We would love to get a chance to talk to Tara Wallach and off of a career high. We'll see her apparently tomorrow night at Zeppos as well. So we invite you to join us 6 until 7. Or again, we'll have a free writer on the radio for you 6 until 7 tomorrow night for your Cougar basketball hour. But first, we need to wrap this baby up. Again, the Cougars over Arizona State, 73 to 46.